On Ticker, this is Import Export with Lawrence Christophels. Thanks for joining us again on Import Export here at Ticker TV. Now we've got the absolute pleasure to have a, a, a remote conversation live in Perth with Mary Jardine Clark. Mary's the president of the WA European Business Chamber over there. And uh, Mary, thank you so much for joining us. You're very welcome. It's a pleasure to be on the show. And I have to say, I'm completely hooked. It's a, it's a marvelous production. Congratulations. Thanks so, much, thanks so much. You look you look wonderfully sprite and bubbly for so, so early over there in, in Perth. So thanks for getting up extra early for us to join us. My pleasure. No problem. Now, Mary, I'll, I'll, I know there's so many things that we want to talk about for next week, so I'm going to kick straight into it. Tell us about what's happening next week over there and, and why it's so important for everyone to get along and support it. Yes, look, um, we have the WA uh, European Business Week uh, taking place next week. Over the, Across the whole week, we have a, a marvellous delegation of the European Union uh, in Australia. So uh, they're all our Canberra-based diplomats and uh, trade officials and representatives. And they come across each year for their annual uh, trade visit to um, engage with their interlocutors uh, as well as um, reach out to the business community, the academic community, the research community, science community. Uh, they come here for a whole five days and uh, do it extremely thoroughly. So uh, what uh, the West Australian European Business Association does, it was formed especially uh, to respond to this uh, opportunity uh, that uh, the diplomats need to undertake each year for, for their own uh, reporting purposes and, and understanding how Western Australia works, how its economy works, how its, how its culture is and, and how they sell us abroad to, to Europe uh, to attract foreign investment uh, and so forth. You've got to remember that uh, Europe is, uh, or the European Union is actually our largest source of foreign investment yeah. um, according to DFAT statistics which is uh, can be easily accessed on the website um, so uh, it's it's a very important visit that they undertake and uh, uh, this week uh, rather next week um, we will go to the uh, we have a, a de special VIP delegation of the, the diplomats that will go to visit the uh, European Space Agency New Norcia uh, tracking facility. Uh, they'll be accompanied by our scientist of the year here, our uh, WA chief scientist, um, the parliamentary secretary of science, uh, and uh, they'll have a very thorough uh, review of uh, Western Australia's contribution and engagement uh, yeah. in the, the global space sector. Yeah. Uh, they'll visit um, also our uh, WA observatory uh, which has the famous Zadko telescope and right. uh, this telescope is very important to us. It's, it's uh, involved with a big ESA program uh, that actually um, mitigates asteroids crashing into the Earth. So wow. uh, it's, okay. there's a lot of important work that goes on here in the space sector in WA. So uh, that kicks off the week. Uh, the, the delegates will have a, a wonderful uh, dinner at Government House on Monday evening and mm. then Tuesday uh, there's more meetings and uh, with, with government and uh, with uh, universities. Also, uh, they will uh, meet with the uh, Minister of Science and yeah. visit uh, the Murdoch University Phenome Centre at um, uh, the Harry Perkins Institute of, of Medical Research. Wow. And moving forward, we have our big public days on um, Wednesday and Thursday. Yeah. So we have our signature uh, event, which is the uh, European Australian Business Council Ministerial and EU Ambassadors Breakfast, um, and that's a leader leaders breakfast. So we we get a very good turnout for that, um, and that's followed by uh, our Business and Investment Forum, which this year is sponsored by Deloitte, and it'll be presented at Deloitte in Perth. And Lawrence, I'm so very pleased that you're going to be there because yep. um, I'm very interested in the uh, Ethical Trade Alliance and. Uh, all of the uh, different engagement uh, that um, that we need to understand and learn and to 
actually behave differently in our trade culture uh, mm -hmm. worldwide, of course. Um, so th that's going to be a very exciting feature of the Business Forum, which I, I'm extremely grateful to you for, um, to come to Perth and visit us and um, participate. Yep. Um, and uh, later in the, the day, there is, a, again, an innovation forum. We're going to be looking at circular economy, which is, of course, one of the big priorities of the European Commission with their new European Green Deal. Yeah. Um, and that really changes how Europe engages with the entire world. Uh, they, this is a complete leadership uh, position that uh, Europe is undertaking and uh, they, they expect to achieve a lot um, towards uh, designing climate, appropriate climate response, which ideally, um, you know, will contribute to uh, well, man-made climate change issues that uh, must be addressed. Well, I think um, Europe is definitely leading the way, Mary, with um, you know, the focus and energy around making sure that, that that full product life cycle management is being considered, the, the environmental sustainable impacts of all their products and trade in general. So yes, thank you for, for allowing me to be involved next week. I'm really looking forward to being involved and, and um, also doing some interviews there with you and some of the delegates for the Import Export Show um, that we could air sometime in the future as well. But um, there's so many important reasons why Europe is such an important partner for Australia, not just around the typical things, but also it's such a hot topic now this year, especially with the Brexit, with the free trade agreements being negotiated. There's so many things that um, are being talked about and the profile speakers and guests that you've got for next week. So it's just it's a, a real uh, commendation to yourself to put these high profile and such influential um, key people in, in the same room together. So you, you've done an amazing job bringing this event together for next week. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, the uh, you know it is a leadership um, matter. Uh, Europe matters. It's our uh, second most important uh, trading partner on the planet. We have uh, you know profound historical and cultural ties um, to Europe, uh, and uh, you know it's such an important part of our economy. Um, when we look at the free trade agreement, I mean there's there's so many you know, cross sectors that, that are being uh, negotiated within the free trade agreement, which, uh, you know, could possibly complete by the end of this year. They've had yeah. uh, six rounds of negotiation and it's being uh, commented uh, by uh, the European leadership and also the Australian leadership that we do expect as uh, an increase of as much as 30 percent of two way uh, traffic. Wow. Uh, so that's that's a very significant um, economy to think about uh, yeah. the advantages. Um, Australia, like men, much of the world, has realised in this past month with uh, the COVID nineteen. You know, we all have to diversify. We we yeah. really need to consider uh, our options and to ensure that the economy is safe at any time, yeah. um, not just in times of crisis. So, uh, Europe will present some very exciting opportunities, particularly within digital economy, which is also a major priority for the government uh, or the governments of Europe. Um, so they are all very important things that, that will come about from this free trade agreement. But um, mm. I'll just briefly mention we have a fantastic lineup as well on Thursday uh, for our annual uh, uh, WA European Defence Industry Forum. So we've got three ministers, we've got the WA governor, we've got all those big giants of the European industry wow. like uh, Thales and, and uh, Airbus coming, uh, Australia's own EOS, uh, Electro-Optic Systems, which yep. um, is in fact Australia's Defence Exporter of the Year. Not, not a lot of people know that, but they, right, no, they no. are um, yeah. extraordinary and involved in, in a lot of international programs. We're very talented here in Australia. Yeah, <laughs> um, no wonder Europe loves us. Uh, <laughs> so um, it's, right. uh, it's going to be very, very special. And uh, we look forward to hearing yeah. from those ministers about our very important um, security relationship with Europe. There's a, a lot of cooperation, uh, as well as the, the the commercial aspects of defence industry, which is a, a, a mainstream economy for for us here, and especially in, in WA, where we have uh, enormous defence projects underway Absolutely. and more to come. 
Thanks so much, Mary, for joining us today. What's the best way for people to, to I know it's, it's still happening next week, but there's still opportunity for them to get along. Is there a website or what's the best way for them to get involved for next week's events? Yes, please. Thank you so much for the opportunity to let everyone know. Uh, the West Australian European Business Association uh, has an acronym called WABA, W-A-E-B-A. Yep. And that's very easy to remember. So www.waiba.org.au. Yep. And uh, please go to that website, have a look at our programs and, and do connect. Um, please uh, get yourself a ticket or register to the free to attend events, the uh, two business forums. Uh, and uh, we will welcome you with, with open arms and Fantastic. lots of people too. Yeah, it's, um, it's a literally a once in a lifetime opportunity to get all these high profile speakers and guests in front of you uh, to have a chance to, to rub shoulders with some very important people, but also hear from, if you like, the horse's mouth about the, the future of trade opportunities between Australia and the EU. So thanks so much, Mary. It's been an absolute delight. I'm looking forward to seeing you in person next week uh, while I'm over there in Perth. And uh, you know, there's so much more we can discuss and we will. And, and I'll be doing a whole range of different interviews with yourself and other delegates that will bring to, to air through the Import Export Show over the coming weeks and months as well. So thank you so much for joining us. The whole theme of today's show has been all around you know, making sure that there's a whole broad range of trade opportunities that are still out there, great opportunities for the companies to diversify, as you mentioned, to really look you know, quite wide and far across different opportunities around the world. And thank you so much for, for reminding us again how important the EU is for the Australian relationship as well. So, uh, yeah. Wrapping, yeah, thanks so much, Mary. Look forward to, as I said, catching up with you in person next week. Thank you very much, Lawrence, for the opportunity. And I look forward to welcoming you and, uh, uh, and anyone else that comes too. Thank you so much. Thanks, Mary. Take care. Have a great weekend and see you next week. All right, so that wraps up a really um, valuable show. I hope you've all got a lot out of that today. We've got you know, some really expert speakers who talked about product sourcing. Then we had Dr. John Hopkins from Swinburne discussing the importance of innovation in your supply chain. Uh, we've had Jamil Ibrahim from Martrade, and you've just heard Mary Jardine Clark from the European Business Union in WA over there. So the whole theme is about how we can increase awareness, educate you and show you that there are a whole range of ways you can still grow your business, prosper, diversify, de-risk, and, and really do the best you can in some of these uncertain times with the coronavirus. But there's plenty of green, sky, uh, green, green and blue skies ahead uh, with the future of international trade. So stick, hopefully you'll join us again next week. As I said, I'll be in Perth next week doing some great interviews with some European um, profile speakers. And we'll be back in studio here next Thursday from a very early flight. So thank you all and look forward to seeing you all again next Thursday. Take care.